Hey guys, it's Matt from You and Your Horror Movies, and welcome to Body Bags. It is Friday, and this week we are doing Killer Bug Week. So, killer insects, any kind of those. Sorry for the glare. Move a little bit. So anyway, killer bugs. They say that once humans are gone from the planet, the next available species to take over the world is insects. Because there's just so many of them. And a lot of insects can kill people. Uh, they can do absolutely nothing to people. Well, I got a film for you from 1988 that is just weird and out of, the, out of this full world. But it's such a good movie. It's so bad, and it's really good. It is from 1988. The tagline is, They slime, they ooze, they kill. And it's from a novel called Slugs. <laughs> this movie is insanely bad, but it's insanely good. If you've never seen this film, I give this a 9 out of 10. Just so fun. You got gore. There's a lot of gore in this film. There's gore. There is nudity. Female nudity. Um, there's There are explosions. There are eye explosions. <laughs> uh, some really cool practical effects in this film. Alright. Pretty much the premise of the film is... It starts off almost like a water creature film. Because it's kind of neat. Uh, you got a couple on a boat. Uh, kids fishing, girl starting to uh, strip down to her underwear and everything. They're talking. He's got his foot in the water. And you know, I was like, oh, there's something slimy down there, blah, blah, blah. Something pulls him in. Then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, she's like, you know, okay, ha, ha, ha. Blood starts bubbling from the water, thinking, oh, we got ourselves. Why is it slugs, but we're in the water? Well, Nothing ever comes to that. It just happens, which is kind of cool. It's just a random death, but a cool random death. Now, you have Mike Brady, who is the town's health inspector. He is called with the sheriff to evict this bum out of a house. When they arrive, the house is a disaster. There's garbage everywhere, uh, disgusting, but they find his the guy's body on a couch. And the body is like eaten galore. <laughs> even the even one of the the deputies is like the something ate his eyes. It ate his liver. It ate all his intestines. It ate everything inside, and the carcass was just covered in blood. But Brady there is trying to figure out what could have caused this. Is this another animal? He notices these weird slime trails everywhere. He looks down in the basement, and it's just garbage galore. So. Nothing comes to it. Later on, you get some more deaths and trying to figure out what the hell's going on. Well, the best scene, well, one of the best scenes in this film, in Corniest, is he's talking to his wife and she's outside gardening. And he notices all these weird slime trails. And she's like, yeah, there's these gigantic black slugs everywhere. So he looks and he sees a back black slug. He puts his finger towards it and it grows teeth and bites him. It's just corny as hell with a slug biting a human being with teeth. Because slugs don't really have teeth. Well, they have little small little ones that break down plant life. And I guess even the doctor said there's bigger ones that eat like worms. But other than that, they don't grow fangs and bite people. But in this movie, they do. So he captures a couple, brings them to the local scientist. Come to find out, he no he's been noticing slime trails all over the town, especially in the new housing development. Now, he comes to find out that the housing development that was built on must have hit a line somewhere and either toxic waste was dumped in or some kind of gas that mutated these garden slugs. And these garden slugs, yeah, there's some gore right there, <laughs> have now become carnivorous. And their slime that they leave behind is actually very poisonous. And when it's on our skin, it can numb us and also kill us in large dosages. So now he's trying to figure out how to stop these slugs. And, of course, a lot of cool coriness in this film. Uh, yeah. The director did uh, The Pod People, which was, oh, sorry, from Full Moon, and... He did Pieces as well, which is another great 80s slasher film. So, this is an awesome creature feature. Highly recommend this film. Like I said, there's got everything here. It's got 
gore. It's got women nudity. Uh, there's a guy butt, so girls, you got a nice guy butt in there. <clears throat> uh, there's explosions everywhere. There's even a, a memorial uh, eye explosion. <laughs> Not explain how that happened, but it was pretty cool how they did that and why it was done. Uh, so out of a possible ten, I give this a nine out of ten. I watched, I rewatched it again. I've seen this movie I don't know how many times, and I love it. It's just good cheesy fun. There is this is the Anchor Bay version, uh, but there is a I think a midnight releasing of the film. Uh, I could it's probably a lot cheaper. Definitely pick that up. But this one just has your basic features of widescreen and theatrical trailer, but just got that eeriness. Even when the opening credits are there, they got all the slugs in the background. The score is just got that eerie score, but 80s goodness galore. So you're thinking slugs, they're slow, I cannot move them. Yeah, but they get some fast movement when they're all on that slime. <laughs> all right, guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my review on slugs. <laughs> Definitely give it a go. You might think, oh, it's stupid because of the title. It's awesome. All right, guys, thanks very much for watching. Like, subscribe, check out everyone else's week on Killer Insects. Later, peace.